ever felt like your Facebook ads are being shown to the wrong people, then this is the video for you. In it, I'm going to explain what's going on and what you can do about it. So before I get into the specific strategies that you can use to, to fine tune your targeting, things like that, I need to quickly say up front that there are times where Meta just makes a mistake, where you set up your targeting options and you get something completely different. Fine looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? Let's say, for example, you want to target the whole of the US and you find that you're getting loads of impressions from Indonesia. That's just Meta making a mistake. These things do happen. If that does happen to you, you should be able to get in touch with Meta via their support and they should give you a refund for that. I just wanted to clear that up front because it is something that happens. Now, there are also some possible explanations for this, your ads being put in front of people that you didn't intend to, to reach, didn't intend to target, and that aren't actually anything to worry about. And that's firstly, that people will share your ads organically. They'll do that by clicking the share button and literally sharing it, or they might interact, they might comment, and that makes it more likely that Meta will then, for free, organically, put that ad in front of their friends, people connected with them on Facebook and Instagram, because that's these are social networks, that's how they operate. Now, this is going to affect certain businesses a lot more than others. Certain businesses are naturally much more shareable. Let's say you're advertising a, a local event, for example, you might get a lot of additional organic reach on those ads because people are sharing them and tagging their friends in it and saying, look, you know, we should go this to this, we should check this out. Um, and and that's nothing to worry about as a business owner because this organic sharing, this organic interaction that leads to more reach is not something you have to pay for. And unless you're in a specific circumstance where you actively don't want people who fall outside of your targeting to see your ad at all, which is not most businesses, most businesses just don't want to be paying to reach people that aren't ideal. They're quite happy for to pay, the pe pay to reach the people that are ideal and for those people to potentially share with people that aren't quite the target market. That's normally okay. This is just not something to worry about. And for some businesses, it happens a lot. It happens more than you think. These are social networks. And again, this isn't something to worry about because you aren't paying for that additional reach. If your ads are being put in front of some people that fall outside your age criteria or in a different location, but they get those ads are put in front of those people because they've been shared organically by the people you are looking to target, that's absolutely fine. Now that is different from what I mentioned previously where Meta can sometimes make mistakes and the way you work that out is the volume. If you're seeing that 5%, 10% of the people that are seeing your ads are in the wrong location, for example, that could well be because of people sharing and, and engaging with the ad so they get more organic free distribution. If 50% or 70% of your impressions are coming from the wrong location, that's much more likely that Meta's made a mistake. That's how you distinguish between those two options. Okay, so to show this next point that I wanna make and show you what's going on here, I'm in uh, Ads Manager, I'm in an example Facebook ad account, I've created an example campaign, and I'm at the ad set level where obviously you set the targeting options. I'm gonna scroll down here, and this is the interface that most people are going to see, not everyone has the exact same things in their ad accounts, but most people are going to see this, right? Where you have, by default, this audience control section, followed by this advantage plus audience section. Now this advantage plus audience section, if I click into audience suggestions, is where you can enter in, for example, detailed targeting, things like interests and demographics behaviors, and we've had a variation of that for a long, long time. But there's a big change when it is within advantage plus audience, within this section, and that's that, when you set an interest, so let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, I only wanted to advertise to people that were interested in digital marketing, okay? Something that's relevant to, uh, to my industry. Under the previous setup, the old targeting setup, that was a hard boundary, as in Meta could only advertise to people that were categorized as interested in digital marketing. When you are using Advantage Plus Audience, which most people are because it's the default and they may not realize this, this digital marketing criteria becomes a suggestion. So Meta can advertise, obviously, to people who are interested in digital marketing, and that's probably where they will start, but they will also expand to people who aren't interested in digital marketing, or at least not categorized as so with their Facebook and Instagram profiles. It not What I just described, this targeting, this interest targeting being a suggestion, not only applies here at the detailed targeting level, it also applies to gender. So if you set gender criteria, this here is a suggestion. You say, I just want to advertise to women. Well, if Meta thinks it's gonna help your results, they will also put ads in front of men. Um, and again, with the age criteria as well. If you say, look, I only want to advertise to people that are between the ages of 25 and 35, that's not what this achieves. You know, if I just find 35 quickly, um, this is a suggestion. You're saying to Meta, look, I think my best customers are 25 to 35, but you know what? 
go out and find whoever else you want. Now, what often happens is that advertisers will set up something like this, for example, and they will take a look at their data or the leads that are coming through or the sales that are coming through and go, hang on a minute, we're getting sales from people who are 45 and 50, we shouldn't be advertising to them. And they aren't aware that that's because this Advantage Plus audience is a suggestion. Now, if you want to add in some hard boundaries, some hard constraints, you can do that to some extent, and that's where you need to use this audience control section. So if I go ahead and add in here, anything set up within audience controls, that is a hard boundary. Meta won't go beyond that. So for example, that's gonna be where you add in um, your location targeting, and Meta hide this, because they really want to leave it nice and open. Um, it helps most advertisers to be fair, but also helps their job in terms of uh, ad delivery, because they've got ad inventory to put around lots of people and things like that. Um, so they make it difficult, but if you click on this more button, you can set a minimum age. You can't set like a specific age range as a hard criteria. And they've added this in, because obviously some things you can't advertise to certain people below certain ages in certain countries. Um, you can add in specific hard boundaries around languages. You can also exclude custom audiences. So if you're like, I really don't want my previous customers to see. So there are a few different options that you can add into audience controls, but not much. If you really want hard boundaries um, and you want it to apply not just to this audience control stuff, you want it to apply to things like age, um, gender targeting, interest targeting, things along those lines, then you have to come down here and click on switch to original audience options. Now I should say, Meta's gonna try and convince you to not use this, as you can see, use Advantage Plus Audience, on average 33% lower cost per result, et cetera, et cetera. But if you click through to use original audience, this will take a second, but it will go through to the targeting setup that we used to have. And I should say, not everyone, unfortunately, has this option. Some people are forced to use now Advantage Plus Audience, um, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if the original audience targeting options disappeared for all uh, meta advertisers, which would not be ideal, but is something that can happen in the future. We're just gonna have to crack on with it. Um, but I just wanted to, to let you know, for now, most advertisers can still do this. And if we scroll down here, we will see the targeting setup that we've been using for a number of years, as I described, where these um, criteria in here are hard boundaries, and that's gonna make a big difference to your ads not being put in front of people that you potentially don't want them to be put on the wrong people in a lot of cases. Now, before I mention something else really important about this switching to original audience and give you some other um, targeting tips around no longer reaching the wrong people, I wanted to quickly let you know about our done for you Facebook and Instagram advertising services. So my company can create, manage and optimize your Facebook and Instagram ads. We can take that workload off your hands, hopefully help you get much better results um, by doing so. If you're interested in finding out more, there is a link in the video description below. You can click on that, come through to a page on our website and book in a free call with one of my team members. You can find out more information no obligation call. We've always certainly worked with a business like yours in the past and probably have great results to show um, from doing so. So if you're interested, go ahead and book that call. Hopefully we get a chance to work together. Now, when you do switch to original audience options as I've done here, it is very important that you're aware of this, this Advantage Detailed Targeting Plus, um, which is basically targeting expansion. So you can see that what Meta said here is uh, reach people beyond your detailed targeting selections when it's likely to improve performance. So even though we switched over to original audience options, these targeting criteria are hard boundaries. If we don't deselect this, Meta still has the ability to put our ads in front of people that we aren't targeting, which if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that's not something that you want. So you have to come in and, and actively deselect this and be like, no matter, please just advertise to this audience. These are the people that are best in my business. These are the people that I want to reach, okay? Not everyone, again, is able to turn this off at this point. Most people are, just like most people are able to switch to original audience options, not everyone is. Could this disappear in the future? Maybe, hopefully not. Um, but most people can still use this, so I wanted to let you know about it. And that's a really important part of limiting your targeting because stopping your ads from reaching the wrong people, not wasting money on people that are outside your core target demographic, whatever that happens to be, might be really important to your business. These are the steps that you can take to, to go ahead and do that. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to show you was this location setting options. Now we're in original audience, but this is going to apply um, to other um, ad set setups like uh, uh, Advantage Plus Audience as well, because you set the location in the audience control section. And that's this line up here, right? Which is recent reach people living in or recently in this location. Now we used to have different options here when it came to our location targeting, where we could go with that, that was the default, reach people living in or recently in this location. Or we could specify, I only want to advertise to people living in this location. Now for a lot of local businesses, 
only advertising to people actually living in a location was really beneficial, particularly if you're advertising somewhere where there's a lot of tourism or a lot of business travel. Um, you might have people coming in and out and if you advertise something that only people actually living there want, it's a waste of money to be advertised to people that have just visited for a few days and, and they've left and, and you don't want that. Unfortunately, Meta have removed those other options and now we have to go with living in or recently in this location. The way around that is not actually anything at the ad set level when it comes to adjusting targeting, it's what we can do at the ad level. So the best way that I found is to use what's called the call out method. So let's say for example, you're advertising in New York, a place that gets loads of business travel, loads of tourists, etc. but you offer something that only applies to people that actually live in New York and you don't want to be advertising to those people who are recently in, that would be a waste of money. The way to do that is to make it very clear in your ad who the ad is actually for, who the product or service is for. So you can literally start your ad copy with something like New Yorkers, and then you know go on to New Yorkers, check out this amazing offer, da, 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 and then the rest of your ad copy, right? And what'll happen there is that when Meta starts putting that ad in front of people that live in New York, they will see it starts with New Yorkers and they'll be like, I'm a New Yorker and, and they'll spend more time on the ad. They're more likely to engage with it. Their linger time will be longer and Meta will go, aha, this is the right person to advertise in front of. And those feedback loops will mean you reach actual New Yorkers. Whereas if they put your ad, which they will do at the beginning in front of someone that's in you know, California who just visited New York, they will go, well, I'm not a New Yorker and they'll ignore it fairly automatically. They wouldn't even necessarily be doing this consciously. They're less likely to engage, they'll have less linger time. That's a feedback mechanism to Meta. Meta go, oh, okay, we do want to put ads to people that are living or very frequently in this area because that's likely to get the best results. So not something that you can do at the ad set level anymore, unfortunately, but you can get around it with what you put in the ad and your messaging. Now, you may be in a situation where you're not sure if your ads are being put in front of the right people or not. You might kind of suspect it, but you're like, how do I actually go verifying this? Or I was reaching the wrong people. You've implemented now some of the changes that I recommended. Um, you've put more hard boundaries in, um, removed targeting expansion, and you want to check if it's actually working. Here's how you go about doing that, right? So I'm in a, an example ad account, like I mentioned, I'm at the uh, campaign level in Ads Manager, and I'm going to go ahead and click on breakdown. And when you do this, you will see that there are loads of options where you can break down your data. So for example, I could select age as an option, and then we can see by campaign, our results by age group, right? So we can see, you know, where we're getting results, but we could also see, for example, reach. Like if you're like, I just don't want to reach anyone over the age of 50, no one over the age of 50 is going to be interested in my stuff. You can see, okay, well, how many people in these uh, higher end age brackets are actually being shown my ads? Um, you can do it by age. You could do the exact same thing. Um, if I remove age, you could do the same thing by country. So you could identify locations. Like this is where you can work out our ads actually being shown in the right locations. Again, you can see by country and then you can see by reach, you could also see the results, you can break it down by a number of different things and that should hopefully give you an idea of are we reaching the right people here or not. Now one thing I will say is that if you are reaching what you would consider to be not the right people, let's say from a location or an age or anything along, along those lines, but it's a relatively small percentage, let's say 10% of your reach, I wouldn't worry about it. That could easily be because of what we've talked about with people sharing, interacting organically, things along those lines. For some businesses it might be higher than that. Um, and there's very little you can do about it if that is the case. If however you're seeing that a much larger percentage of your ad impressions are say coming from uh, completely wrong age ranges or the, the wrong locations like different countries that you're not actually targeting and things along those lines, then that is where I would look to make some of the changes that we've, uh, that we've talked about. A little bit here and there, nothing to worry about, something more significant, you can jump on it. And if that is the case, making some of these adjustments might significantly improve your results. So hopefully that's really helpful. Now, targeting is clearly still important, but targeting tweaks don't matter as much as they used to. Ad creative is now king when it comes to Facebook ads. And in this video, I show you how to quickly and easily create really high quality, high converting ad creative. Go ahead, check it out.